So the bishop elect just went to a married to such bishop Sapon and then to Archbishop Kofi for the laying on of hands because of their conditions. So he'll come back to kneel for all the other bishops to lay hands on him. And Chebia near Shannes of Opone call Bishop Sapon Ho and Archbishop Kofi Ho. Emma, or Mude, or Monsa Guneso, Sabri, as of Pomona Kenyan, so be bad woman, sir, Abbe Guneso. As a symbol of the bishop elect's submission to the gospel of Christ, the book of the gospels is placed above his head while the prayer of consecration is being offered by the presiding archbishop. Ebra ye bom paye ye be bie Christ and sempa e ngumanum e woni tri so e de ejina ho amasade God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ Father of mercies and God of all consolation who dwell on high and look upon the lowly who know all things before they come to be, and who let down observances in your church through the word of your grace, who from the beginning foreordinate a nation of the just born of Abraham, who established rulers and priests, and did not leave your sanctuary without ministers, and who from the foundation of the world were pleased to be glorified in those you have chosen. Pour out now upon this chosen one the power which is from you, the spirit of governance, whom you give to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, the spirit whom he bestowed upon the holy apostles, who established the church in each place as your sanctuary for the glory and unceasing praise of your name. Grant, O Father, knower of all hearts, 
that is your servant, whom you have chosen for the office of bishop, may shepherd your holy flock, serving you night and day. May he fulfill before you, without reproach, the ministry of the high priesthood, so that always gaining your favor, he may offer up the gifts of your holy church. Grant that by the power of the spirits of the high priesthood, he may have the power to forgive sins according to your command, assign offices according to your decree, and lose every bond according to the power given by you to the apostles. May he place you by his meekness and purity of heart, presenting a fragrant offering to you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through whom glory and power and honor are used with the Holy Spirit in the Holy Church now and forever and ever. In their hands, the bishop would be anointed in his head or on his head. I mean, I just say, I pray. Ne odi asumi yani no oche ya pape isofui odi engo a ya krezim ebe srano. Na bishops dia edu sabre ya disra o mutrim enye o monsem sedi ya ya asofu o edi ano. My God, who made you a sharer of the high priesthood of Christ, himself pour out upon you the oil of mystical anointing and make you fruit, fru fruitful with an abundance of spiritual blessing. Na naso fupon e chane huwa baka kwa Inti mesre se kwa fuo Ema ye nyoma bra ye chane nui
Credit to the new bishop. Receive the gospel and preach the word of God with all passions and sound teaching. Receive the ring, the seal of fidelity, adorned with underfeed faith, preserve and unblemish the bride of God, the Holy Church. Ongoing is the investiture of the new bishop. The ring, the fisherman's ring has already been placed on his finger. Next, the mitre would be put on his head. And then the pectoral cross. The pectoral cross. And last to be given is the pastoral staff. Receive the mitre and may the splendor of holiness shine forth in you, so that when the chief shepherd appears, you may deserve to receive from him an unfounding crown of glory. Receive the crosier, the sign of your pastoral office, and keep watch over the whole flock in which the Holy Spirit has placed you as bishop to govern the Church of God. We shall now have the enthronement of the new bishop. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Congratulated by the bishops. And if I had the house, I hear the man and move or go so for penny and more. I'm one also a man and
brass was here, dear, 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 dear,
his oblation, O Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May this oblation, O Lord, which we have presented for your church and for John, your servant and bishop, become an offering acceptable to you and for the good of the flock. May he whom you have raised up among your people to be high priest be endowed by your gift with apostolic virtues through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son, High Priest of the New and Eternal Covenant, and by your wondrous design, we are pleased to decree and this one priesthood should continue in the church. For Christ not only adorns with a royal priesthood the people he has made his own, but with a brother's kindness, he also chooses men to become sharers in his sacred ministry through the lying on of hands. They are the renew in his name, the sacrifice of human redemption, to set before your children the Paschal banquet, to lead your holy people in charity, to nourish them with the word, and strengthen them with the sacraments. As they give up their lives for you, and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters. They strive to be conformed to the image of Christ himself and offer you a constant witness, a faith and love. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim.
O you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her, to have the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all those who holding to the truth and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, Remember, Lord your servants and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the ever-blessed, glorious Virgin Mary, mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Zixtus, Cornelius, and Cyprian, Lawrence, Crusagonus, John, and Paul, Cosmos, and Damien, and all your saints, we ask that through the merits and prayers, in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which you make to you, also for your servant John, whom you have been pleased to raise to the order of bishops, and in your mercy keep safe your gifts in him, so that what he has received by divine commission he may fulfill by divine assistance. Be pleased, O oh God, we pray, to bless that knowledge and approve this offering in every respect, make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took breath in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O oh God, his Almighty Father, Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for it is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Keep in mind that Jesus Christ has died for us and is risen from the dead. He is our Savior. He 
therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension to heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, be your servants and your holy people, offered to glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice as spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with a sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also your servants, who though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into your company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, feed them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The service command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as away the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace.
behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that I should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
so aha umuzu bi kwa kwa monsi yo umuzu umuzu ede bo atna se aha ne me nyina uri ka ofetri no ho nyina bo mi na masse we shall also now invite the knights and ladies of Russia also to do their presentation Yes, we come with a, a small gift but full of signification for us. We have here a chasuble for our new bishop elect. So each time he'll be wearing this chasuble and celebrate the Mass. May his blessing fall upon us and open all his parishioners. I want to say that uh, he is a special member of the Knight of Ladies of Marshall and moreover, the Supreme Chaplain. Now he is no longer the Supreme Chaplain, he is uh, the Bishop. So the Supreme Bishop for the Knight and Ladies of Marshall. Thank you. And we also we don't want uh, our bishop to come with them to pay, so we have an envelope for him. When he discloses, you know what amount is inside. We don't need to tell you here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now we shall now invite. We shall now invite the papa nines and the ladies and the nines, the papa nines and the days. They also. Yo, I don't for my did you move yam sir, I have for no apeja mumu. A yeah na na mam po hene na sebre or bye. And na na kume wu kume wu a hene or also a bye and the woman say yam se a brenya da jinti and I know apeja mumu kakra and a moas yami show mo. Excellency, the Nuncio, the new elect bishop and installed bishop, and all bishops. At a request of Most Reverend Joseph Osebonsu, the late John Paul II conferred the honor of papal knighthood to members, some members of this diocese. In 2017, another set also were honored, both knights and dames. A lot of them are not here today because they are in this world. Some cannot even walk. But we are here to give honor to the new bishop and to pledge to him that we are always available to support him and his pastoral ways as we have been doing to most reverend Joseph Osebos. We have something special for him which we are delivering. 
But we just want everybody to know that the paper nice and dense of this diocese have not been slipping. We are working and we'll continue to work with the new bishop. Some of us here have made personal gifts, but the whole lot of us are now doing ours. And we have a tidy sum which is already with us, which we will present to the new bishop. Thank you very much. Bishop in Nianom, Nina Maman in Nyaman or Ha, and Tianidimu, Sremo, Mumra, Namus Mumra, and Mamunia Munio. We shall now invite the brothers and the sisters who are around just to come and congratulate their own brother. Thank you. So I will now invite Monsignor Ardo. Uh -huh. They said they have a special group who want to say something to Monsignor. around the night the ladies of Marsha, St. Teresa Society, Christian Mother Society, the Quaristers, CWA, and then also um, all the professors and then all the professors and all the lecturers and the students and the past 
students who came from University of Kwame and University of Science and Technology. We thank you very much for your presence to grace this wonderful location. God bless us all. Bishop Brian John Opoku Agivai Masumra Unianum Monsignors James Bafuado Rafael Usmipra Stephen Osedia and John Father John Opoku Aqua. Yes, we are by here. One more day, a Yodia. Papa Joshua. And <laughs> Of the provincial Lethetical Commission around. They should also come and also congratulate their chairman, their former chairman. So we shall now move on to receive some goodwill messages from some dignitaries. And the first to be invited is the Apostolic Nuncio. We have said that some of the priests are going away. Please make sure where you took your chasuble, you actually send it there. Thank you. Bishop of Konongumampong, Your Excellencies, brothers in priesthood, dear brothers and sisters, it is with great joy that I bring these words of greetings in the beginning of the new mission of Bishop John, which Holy Father, by grace of God, give him. I just met Holy Father 25th of April and at the end of the audience I asked him the blessing for people are, I will meet during my mission. And today I am so happy to bring to you all the greetings and blessing of Holy Father. His Lordship Bishop 
Matthew Janfi, President of Bishop Conference of Catholic Bishop of Ghana, explain the mystery of the office of the bishop in the church, so I will not repeat what was already said. For me, it's also occasion to uh, express my gratitude to all of you, the people of God, and uh, to clergy, sisters especially, to most reverend Bishop Joseph Osei and new Bishop uh, John Apoko Agjeban. For this beautiful moment we live together, my mission in Ghana is come to the end and I take this opportunity to thank you for your support, your collaboration and I ask you to pray for me and I promise pray for you. May Almighty God bless you all. Thank you. We have received a special donation from Professor Obin Ofori of Catholic University, 3,000 Ghana cities, a donation to the bishop. And then also we received a donation of 5,000 from the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Andrew Amako Esiana. We shall now invite a rep of the Catholic Bishops' Conference to come and give us their goodwill message. Okay, it will be done by Bishop Fianu, the Vice President. We, the members of the Ghana Catholic Bishops Conference, are thankful to God and filled with joy for the appointment of His Excellency, Most Reverend John Yao Opukwejima, as the second bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Konongo Mampong, to succeed the Most Reverend Joseph Osei Bonsu, the pioneer bishop of this diocese. On this occasion of your Episcopal ordination and installation as the second bishop of Konongo Mampong, you have become the latest member of the conference, and we are glad to welcome you to our fold today. Ordained in January 1984, you have contributed enormously to the growth of the church universally and locally, such that after your exceptional services to the church that spanned two decades after your priestly ordination, Pope John Paul II honored you as a prelate of the church in August 2005. You spent most of, a, of your years teaching and forming our young people to become responsible citizens and priests of the Roman Catholic Church many of whom are doing very well in various spheres of life in Ghana and the world at large. The same can be said of the many seminarians you have formed as in Gregory the Great Provincial Major Seminary, Parkoso Kumasi, until your election as the second bishop of Konongo Mampon Diocese. You chaired a number of communities, of committees, such as the first Konongo Mampon Diocese Synod Planning Committee, the Kumasi Ecclesiastical Provincial Liturgical Commission, the Pastoral Coordinating Council of Konongo Mampong, and many others. You were also a member of some other important committees, such as the Planning Committee of the Year of Faith for the Kumasi Archdiocese, the 130th Anniversary Planning Committee of the Kumasi Archdiocese, the Governing Council of the Catholic University College of Ghana, Fia Presunyani, and Seminaries Commission of Rekoa, among others. Our brother Bishop, Bishop Opoku Ejima. Indeed, you have very rich curriculum vitae, 
We believe that the great insights and rich experiences you have garnered during these years of fruitful priestly service and ministry will be valuable and helpful as you begin your new and enlarged role as chief shepherd over the flock of God that is entrusted to your care. We equally believe that with these rich experiences, you will contribute greatly to the work of our conference by enriching our work with your invaluable contributions. On behalf of all the members of our conference, I wish to welcome you with great joy and happiness into our fold. I pray and hope that you will enjoy the prayerful support, cooperation, collaboration, and goodwill of all your priests, religious, and Christ lay faithful in your diocese for a successful Episcopal ministry. As a conference, we promise to support you to succeed in all your endeavors. We pray that you will enjoy the guidance and strength of the Holy Spirit, the agent of missions, as you take your first steps into your Episcopal ministry and learn how to act as a bishop. We remain confident that the good Lord who has called you and appointed you as chief shepherd for his flock in this diocese will continue to guide and see you through. May the most sacred heart of Jesus, whose solemnity we celebrate today, remain a safe source of comfort for you throughout your Episcopal ministry. We pray that the maternal intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, star of the new evangelization, will be with you always. Once again, our wholehearted congratulations to you, Most Reverend John Yao Opoku Ejiman, the second bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Konogo, Mampong. The conference has a gift for you, which will be given to you in camera. Thank you. Long live Ghana. Long live the Catholic Church in Ghana. Long live the Diocese of Konogo, Mampong. Thank you. Thank you, my Lord Bishop. I now invite Father Isaac Osei Tutu, the Vice President of the Konongo Mampon Diocesan Priest Association, to give us their goodwill message. Yeah, before Father comes, Monsignor, there is a special donation from Mampon Chi Dinari, 2000 Ghana cities. There is also Catholic Diocese of Navrongo Borgatanga, they also give in a special envelope. And then this is a special gift from Daughters of St. Paul's. So it is for you. Thank you. Your Lordship, Most Reverend John Yaopuku Ajiman. We, the assistant priests and co-workers of the Kanangman Diocese, deem it a great honor to have you as a new bishop of Kanangman Diocese. We thank God for giving you to the diocese as a chief shepherd and a second bishop in succession on her Episcopal status. With joy, we say Akwaba. We say Yemawamo and your Episcopal ordination and installation as the Bishop of Kanangaman Diocese on the seventh day of June 2024 in the year of our Lord. It is our prayer that the good Lord who has placed you as head of his people and without whom we are incapable of accomplishing anything continues to strengthen, guard, and fill you with the Holy Spirit so that you can fight the good fight of faith, shepherd his flock with passion and diligence, and feed his sheep duly, rightly, and justly. May God's people find hope, consolation, and care, inspiration, and a renewed strength in you and your words as the Church of our days strives to become a place of hope and a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Ut omnes unum sent, 
That is the farewell prayer of our Lord and Master Jesus Christ for his disciples. And that is our wish to in co-working with you in the vineyard of the Lord, that we all be one. Just as the apostles were with one accord in meeting and evangel evangelization, so may we all be my Lord. We, your priests, promise you our chief shepherd in everything our variables unities, our harnessed force. You have our assistance in everything that you do. Be assured of our fervent prayers, full cooperation and unflinching support in the growth of the diocese, spread, spread of the full of the gospel, and promotion of the kingdom of God for the salvation of all men and women of good will, both in your diocese and wherever we as your priests and co-workers act in the name of the diocese. We are working with you, our chief shepherd. Be in harmony, in perfect faith and charity. We pray God to bless you and grant you good health in your episcopate. Now that you sit in your cathedral, we can say in full confidence, Sedes nunc occupata. Akonyano, si si wat nasu. Akonyano, aya occupied. Vivat, crescat, et floriat, ad multos anos. Nana, congratulations. Yama utri unkwa, yama wamu, nyame enkahu, na nyame enshirahu. We thank my vice president very much for a wonderful message. Uh, my Lord, there is a gift from the missionaries of Africa and of the White Fathers of Ghana, 1,000 Ghana cities. Yeah, uh, there is a new book written by Professor Francis Apia Kubi and Father Robert Yabua titled The Enigma of Ecclesia Evolution, Exploring the Invisible Trend of a Synodal Church. The course is just 50 Ghana cities. The Synodians are holding them around. Just get your copy because we are still on the Synodality. It will help a lot. Uh, thank you. Shall we observe the following announcements? The Thanksgiving Masses of Most Reverend John Yao Opoku Ajiman would happen one at St. Paul's Cathedral Mampong on the 9th of June, just this Sunday. Then on the 16th of June, he would go to St. Gabriel's Co Cathedral at Konongo for his second Thanksgiving. Then on the 23rd of June, he would come back to his hometown, Kumeu, St. Martin's Catholic Church for another Thanksgiving Mass. And then on the 30th of June, he would go to Our Lady of the Holy Rosary Catholic Chaplaincy KNUST for another Thanksgiving Mass. Let us take note of them and go and support him. We bring to your notice the death of Madame Margaret Anoche, the mother of Reverend Father Anthony Dakun. The final funeral would be celebrated on the 20th of July, 2024, at Esraso Kumase at 9 o'clock a.m. All religious present, religious working in the Diocese of Konongumampong, should gather at where the sisters are beautifully seated after the celebration for a short announcement. We want to bring to the notice of all that one of the best 
Catholic schools in Ghana. Our Lady of Grace Senior High School at Mampontane has started registration for the 2024 entrance exams, which will happen across 23 centers in the country on the 20th of June, 2024. You can just log on to the portal, get details of the admission process, and register your wards for pure Catholic training, both intellectual, spiritual, moral, and even physical. So let us take note of that. So we shall now invite the Director of Communications from National Secretariat, Catholic Secretariat, to introduce our, our bishops and archbishops among us. So we, we have for uh, our principal celebrant, the Apostolic Nuncio to South Africa and Lesotho, Most Reverend Henrik Mieczesław Jagodzinski. To his left is the Emeritus Bishop of Konongo Mampong, Most Reverend Joseph Osei Bonsu. To his right is the Metropolitan Archbishop of Kumasi, most Reverend Gabriel Justice Yao Anochi, son of man. We also have the Bishop of Sunyani and President of the Ghana Kali Bishops Conference, Most Reverend Matthew Kwesi Jemfi. We have the Emeritus Archbishop of Cape Coast, Most Reverend Mataya Asinketia. We have the Bishop of Second Itakradi, Most Reverend John Baptist Atakru. We have the Emeritus Bishop of Eos, Most Reverend Joseph Francis Essien. We have the Bishop of Yendi, Most Reverend Matthew Itiere. We have the Bishop of Gosu, Most Reverend Peter Etuahini. Bishop of Don Cochrum, Most Reverend John Alphonse Asiedu. Bishop of Techiman. Most Reverend Dominic Yeboa Nyaku, Bishop of Obuasi, Most Reverend John Yao Afuakwa, Bishop of Keta Akachi, Most Reverend Gabriel Edo Kumoji, Metropolitan Archbishop of Accra, Most Reverend John Bonaventure Kofi. We have the Auxiliary Bishop of Accra, Most Reverend John Kobina Lewis, Auxiliary Bishop of Accra, Most Reverend Anthony Na Asari, we have the Bishop of Ho and the Vice President of the Conference, Most Reverend Emmanuel Kofi Fiano. The Bishop of Navrongo Bogatanga, Most Reverend Alfred Agenta. The Bishop of Yosu, Most Reverend Samuel Nkwabuatin. We have also representing the Bishop of Kofredia Diocese, the Cathedral Administrator, by Reverend Father Joseph Asumedu. We have We have the Emeritus Archbishop of Kumasi, Most Reverend Peter Akwesi Sapon. We also have the Secretary General, Very Reverend Father Clement Kwesi AJ. His assistant, Very Reverend Father Charles Bwampon Safo. Director of Governance, Justice and Peace, Very Reverend Father Michael Kweku. And I have the honor to introduce to you the latest to join the Bishops' Conference. Most Reverend John Opoku Ajiman. Thank you. We acknowledge the presence of the Vicar General. Thank you. There is a special envelope from the Catholic Archdiocese of Accra to well, the new bishop. So now it is time for the new bishop to give us his blessing by going round to bless all of us. So we shall invite all of us to stand as the choir give us a special song and after that he will give us a address.
that's that's of the St. Peter's Cathedral, hidden myself among the St. Peter's choir and wanted to take a glimpse of everything that was going on because the then Father Peter Agostisapon was going to be ordained a bishop. None of the ceremony really, really touched me, and I must confess, than when the then Father Peter Agostisapon prostrated and laid down on the floors of the altar of St. Peter's Cathedral. Something like some chilling spines went through me, as if all my bones and my veins have been put in some cold room that my blood had even frozen. For a brief moment, I didn't know where I was. But in no time, I regained some consciousness and began paying attention to everything that went on. And after the ordination mass, and I had gone there with my father, while going home to Asantinu town, I told my father, I want to be like that man. And he asked me, whom are you talking about? And I said, the man who lay down on the floors of the altar at St. Peter's Cathedral, the thing that we just saw. And he asked me, can you do it? And I said, yes. I will try. And he said, no, you can't. It's a long process. And you are going to be studying. And at some point, you might easily get disillusioned and might want to come home. And so you can do it. And I said, I will do it. I will try. Somehow, the following year, 1971, God had a way of putting me as in Hewitt's Minor Seminary to start my formation over and against my father's wishes of wanting me to go to Okuwari Secondary School. I went through the process, and now here I am. There were points in my life that God seemed to be saying things to me and I would brush them off and then would think that they were whimsical thoughts of people who probably wish me well. Because at some point I got people who would call me and tell me, oh I dreamt and you were a bishop. Or, there was a big gathering and you were right in front there and they were putting some crown on you. Some people saw this day from afar. When in actual fact, I did not believe it. All I wanted to be was to be a priest. And God had helped me to be a priest. And I thought I would do just what I could to be a good priest, despite my inadequacies and my humanness. Indeed, there was a chief at KNUSC who would visit me sometime in the evening. After Mass, he would come and we would sit down and talk. His name was Nana Efriye II, Amwa Mahini. And he has gone to his eternal rest. At KNUSD, he was the chief who would come to my house, and then as we were talking, he would expose some Asante culture and some kind of uh, Asante practices to me. And then sometimes he would say, Father, you will one day be a bishop. I told Bishop Sapon when he was the rector of St. Peter's Major Seminary in Peru that he would one day be a bishop and show herself that, you know, who am I? Normally they would want to pick a younger guy who is very agile and active. And I have spent all my days wanting to form people in various positions. And so maybe I should start singing my new demetis. 
So what is it about? God asked me to come and tell you that what I told you many, many years ago when you were a king was to come to pass. So I said, her name is Antiesta. I said, Antiesta, thank you, but I, I just laugh it off and said, you just pray. If it is God's will, it will come to pass. And the man that she came with is right here, and I guess we as I'm related to this, he might even, he might even remember. The long and short of it is this. God had a way that I didn't understand, that I didn't know, to prepare me for today. And that is why I am so confident that he who has begun this work will finish it. And he will have his own way of finishing it. It might not be my strength, it might not be my wisdom, it might not be anything of mine, but it will be his to do his work. And that is why all glory is given to him for everything he has done and for all that he will do in future. I thank the Holy Father for whatever he do and his team of consultants and the Holy Office may have seen and in choosing me and asking me to do this. It is in humility that I accept this role and responsibility. Because I know that I am very, very weak and inadequate. That's why when you look at my coat of arms, the test that I chose is simply, God is my strength. He will be my strength. Because I thought that there's nothing that at 66 I would want to start all af afresh and do with vain and maybe courage. But God works in mysterious ways and His will is to be done. To you, most Reverend Joseph for Savings, we are most grateful for 29 solid years of service and starting this diocese. God has used you in several, several ways. And I think he will continue to use you to, even us, you take a retirement seat. You are still a priest of this diocese. You are still a bishop of this diocese. Please don't bury your gifts, nor shelve yourself from whatever you can do to promote and help us. You are now like a grandfather who would want to look around what's there for the good of future generation. Please, we will be wanting to relate to you as a grandfather, wanting your good counsel and wanting to partner you no matter the years that God will give you. I want to thank now my brother bishops who have come from all over the country. I'm so grateful that almost everybody is here. I was telling the president just before Mass started where we were at the cathedral that when I was on retreat and I was reflecting on some of the things that have happened to me in my life, something just struck me that in the year 2009, when I was to leave KN University to go to St. Gregory Seminary and start a seminary, I had gone to Accra to give my last report to the Bishop's Conference. The then Bishop of Adam Laura was the president of the conference. After I had given my report and all the questions answered, Bishop Lucas Abalamlora thanked me, and in his closing remarks he said, one day I pray that you will sit with us in this room in council. No bishop said anything. Neither did I say anything. But as I went on retreat, the idea came to me that did Bishop of Andorra also hear or did he know something that I didn't know? Except to acknowledge the fact that maybe God was speaking and I didn't pay attention. Earlier on, I think a year or so before, I had given a report 
to yet the same council, and I had answered all the questions they asked. And it was Archbishop Sapon who, when they had all said their comments, thanking me for good work, and I remember um, um, Bishop Philip, Philip Name saying, you always come to give us hope. Because I always report on what's going on at KNOSD with Pax Romana, with the young people, and uh, with our various church committees. Then Bishop Sapon says, that's my dean. Because at that time, I was the dean of Asamwasi. As soon as he finished saying, that's my dean, my own bishop, Joseph Osebo also says, that's my priest. <laughs> so, Archbishop Sapon said, that's my dean. And Bishop Joseph also said, that's my priest. So it went on and on, and I kept quiet. There was this other chaplain, I think it was a chaplain to the army, who was sitting right behind me. And he tapped me on my shoulder, and he said, Father, you must be a very lucky man. And I said, Father, why? He said, I have never seen it within bishop circles that two bishops will fight over one priest. <laughs> Again, these things came to me when I was on retreat that maybe I should have listened to all the things that were going on that God had a plan. God had a plan. And I should not have thought that uh, those who would come to me and say anything were just sharing with me their whimsical thoughts. So all of you, my brother bishops who are here today, I am most grateful for your presence. Maybe the prayer Bishop Lucas said is what is before you today and what you are witnessing. Sure enough, we will meet at the conference room and sit in council with you. To all my brother priests and religious men and women of this beautiful diocese. I thank you for your words of encouragement and your support. I thank you for everything that you have done in preparing the way for me. I come to you as your brother. I told my seminarians on March 31st when the announcement was made that I was still John of my director. And I still want to do what the rector is to do. And I don't want to shy away from any responsibility of mine. Because I am convinced that when you do what is expected of you, you do it for God. You don't do it for yourself, neither do you do it for a human being. It's for God that you're doing it. So, all my brother priests, religious men and women, co-workers, all the other societies in the leadership in the diocese, please, I come to you as a brother, your brother John of Okoajimai, and I will want to work with you. I know that we being Catholics have been praying the rosary, and you know the mysteries in the rosary, and I would like to cite that as an example for all of us. You know, the rosary is supposed to be our life, and as we meditate on those mysteries, we must be thinking about our lives, how God has passed through our lives, or will continue to pass through our lives. Certainly, there will be days that we will be reciting or praying the joyful mysteries. There will be times of joy for all of us, where we will be called upon to celebrate. And it will remind us that God is with us, like Mary was reminded, Elizabeth was reminded, and John the Baptist was reminded that God was very present in the joyful mysteries. Of course, there will be times that we will have to recite or pray the sorrowful mysteries. In those times, we will be looking at our struggles and our challenges. But we should not forget that Jesus, the Lord, has gone through it before. He has journeyed the sorrowful mysteries before we ever got started. So even in the sorrowful mysteries, Jesus will be with us. Then there will be the mysteries of light. By his 
is light to see light itself. And that is why we should not shy away when the Lord throws some light on us by the way we live, by the way we minister, by the way we work. Those are the mysteries of light or the luminous mysteries that God points away to us that this is his light, follow. And that's exactly what I want to think the luminous mysteries will stand for us. And finally, and ultimately, it will lead to the glorious mysteries. When we pass through it all, suddenly we will all share the glory of the saints one day, where God wants all of us to be. Therefore, let all of us be of joyful hope and have cheerful spirits that the foundations laid will be built upon and we will carry on to the ultimate end, the mission that God entrusts to us. So thank you all very much, especially the planning committee, the various committees, and everybody who has done anything to make today's celebration a very joyful and important one. Madame Ha, anemo, ane bishop fofro, most reverend John, the book watch my name, ane a sofo ni mo, a sorry man yin ane, yet a moon yin a sick, ye can say, which you do upon yame, uncle so in shramo. A brown gentleman by more yin a slamun kunyano, if ye are a sick and yin a good form, ten idi mo, a ma mo mreye, ha, ye can be our bra, be our brand sename, and so nidi mo, monko so namu yin 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 a yin brin kusi. Ansana, Estremo, Ivia, Yinina, Yefria, Ako. Let us all now stand as we receive the final blessing from the celebrant. Uh, for all the bishops who are around, we all stand in front and have a picture what they newly ordained. Thank you. The Lord be with you. Bow down your heads and pray for God's blessing. O God, who cares for your people with gentleness and rule them in love, and thou with the spirit of wisdom, those to whom you have handed an authority to govern, that from the flourishing of a holy flock may come eternally joy for its shepherds. Amen. Amen. As in your majestic power you allow the number of our days, and the measure of our years look favorably upon our humble service and confer on our time the abundance of your peace. Amen. Amen. Give a happy outcome to the task that through your grace you have led upon me, whom you have raised to the ra upon Bishop John, whom you have raised rank of bishop, make he pleasing to you in the fulfillment of his duties, and so guide the hearts of people and pastor, that the obedience of the flock may never fall the shepherds, nor the care of the shepherd be lacking for the flock. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you who are gathered here, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ.